What is up, everybody? Jay Nell here with my UFC 187 prediction video. I'm super excited for this still. Let's get into it. I got a lot to say. So first up on the prelims, I'm choosing John Dotson to beat Zach Markovsky. Now, John, you are the superior boxer. You are faster. You hit harder. You're the most technical fighter all the way around, stand up. And with the wrestling, he's actually a wrestler first. You should win if you're not overlooking him looking towards Demetrius Johnson. We all want to see you fight Demetrius Johnson again, so please don't look past Zach Makovsky. That's all I have to say, picking John Dotson. Now, on to the main event, main card. First up, I'm going to choose a little upset here. I'm choosing the underdog, probably. I didn't see it. Probably, though. Choosing John Moraga to beat Joseph Benavides. Don't sleep on this match, though. I actually think this is going to be a very good fight. Good way to start off the main event. Picking the underdog, though, John Moraga. Now, next up, I'm choosing Travis Brown to be Andre Orlovsky. I just think Travis Brown is better at this point. Andre, I believe, is 38, 39, somewhere. 36, excuse me. I, I think he's only 36. He took some time off there, and he hasn't really grown as a fighter in years. He's been plateauing for years. I think Travis is a better boxer, better striker, more technical fighter. I don't think Andre will be able to take him down. He has great takedown defense. He has the reach advantage. I think he'll have uh, uh, strong, I think he'll hit harder. I think he's a smarter fighter. Like I said, Andre, of course, has a one hit acquitta, and whenever someone has a puncher's chance, you can't count him out. But I do believe that Travis Brown will win this fight. Now, I'm going to choose Donald Cerrone to beat John McDessie. Now, this sucks because it's supposed to be Cerrone versus No Mego Medoff. No Mego Medoff got hurt again, and I was really really looking forward to that fight. So McDessie stepping in short notice, and that's the big question mark here. Cerrone, I'm picking him to win. I think he's more well-rounded. I think he has more diversity in striking. I think he has more tools. McDessie is a kickboxer first, but we know that Cerrone is a kickboxer boxer first, fell in love with the Muay Thai, and as far as jiu-jitsu is concerned, like Joe Rogan says, I don't know if he has a belt in jiu-jitsu, but it's black. High-level jiu-jitsu, and he'll rest on that if he gets in trouble on the feet, which I don't think he will. I think, um, he, of course, has the experience edge and has the strength of competition. He's fought way higher level of competition for a lot longer. He has taken some damage, but at this point, it doesn't look like he's slowing down anytime soon. But the one question mark is, having prepared for someone else for a while, we thought this no Gomeda fight was going to happen for a while, and then to have to uh, prepare yourself for an entirely new opponent on short notice? That's a huge question mark. So hopefully he can get past that and continue to win picking Cerrone. Now, co-main event, finally, we are seeing the UFC middleweight champion Chris Weidman take on Vitor Belfort. Finally! Vitor Belfort hasn't fought in a year and a half, and I was going to say that that could be uh, trouble, but Chris hasn't fought in about a year. <laughs> So they both might have octagon rust here. Uh, now, Vitor, I know, is 38, so him having that long uh, of, a of a break might do him well because he's 38 and in fight years he might be like 45 because vita has been through some wars vita has been fighting since i started watching him in may and he's been through some wars so a lot of years on that body the time off probably did him well but will he have octagon rust uh Vitor's a black belt in brazilian jiu-jitsu i believe he has a belt in muay thai let me know if he has a belt in muay thai of course he's got uh, uh, like three head kick KOs in a row. So he's really incorporated his kicks, which he'll need to use here against uh, Chris Weidman. Chris Weidman, of course, is a wrestler first. Excellent wrestler. Has developed quite a striking game. He's a very technical fighter and a technical striker. He has lots of submissions as well. He's a smart fighter. One of his biggest weapons, his gas tank. He will out offense you. He has a high pace and he'll have that high pace for five rounds. I have no doubt if this goes five rounds, it's in favor of Chris Weidman. So Vitor has to get this in three. That's how I feel. He's got to get this in three, whether it be by KO or by submission. They both have submissions. Vitor has very tricky submissions too. Now, he ripped tendons in John Jones' arm. Remember that. A lesser man would have tapped, and Vitor would be the 205 champion right now. So, or back then at least. Uh, so, he has very smart submissions, very good submissions. He's very strong on the ground. Who's going to have the strength advantage? I'm not sure. Vitor's a little bit thicker than Chris. I believe Chris is a bit taller. Chris has that wrestling base, and the way that the wrestlers train. I'm going to go ahead and give the strength advantage to Chris. Now, Vitor Belfort against the cage with that Muay Thai, short elbows, some knees. I think he might have the advantage against the cage. I think he might want to work that dirty boxing if he can't get something going in space because Chris isn't going to run from him. 
Kiss is Crick Kiss. Chris is gonna come at him. He's very aggressive as well. So Vita's gonna have to be smart in his striking in space. Incorporate those kicks. Don't be scared of the wrestling. You've got great Muay Thai, great kicks. Don't be afraid to use them. You gotta get this in three. However, I am choosing the champ, Chris Weidman. I am. He's a smart fighter and that gas tank. He's a hard head, hard to put out, never been knocked out that I know of, at least not in the UFC. Let me know if he's been knocked out in another uh, arena, not in UFC. So uh, that gas tank, if this goes five, it goes to Chris, period. So picking Chris. <laughs> now, main event. And as we all know, boy. So disappointed and Mr. John Jones has been stripped of his UFC light heavyweight championship belt. So this contest we are seeing between Anthony Rumble Johnson, Rumble Johnson and DC Daniel, Daniel Comier will be for the actual 205 belt, not an interim championship, the actual belt. Damn you, John Jones. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Real quick about that, I am one of those people, you gotta beat the champ to be the champ. And if John Jones manages to come back in the next, say, two years, I believe that him, just like I believed with Dominic Cruz, when he came back and demolished his opponent for that one fight before he got injured again, he got a title shot off of that. And I agreed with that because he never lost his belt. But Dominic can't stay healthy. Damn you, Dominic. All right. <laughs> so if John Jones manages to come back within about two years, two to three years, one fight in, if he wins uh, decisively, impressively, he's going to get another title shot, and that's the way it should be because he is the champion. So, but now, on to this Saturday, we're going to see a new UFC light heavyweight champion. So let's break this down. Daniel Comeya, of course, is a two-time Olympic uh, wrestling team member. He, he's got the better wrestling. Um, I said that with John Jones, but John Jones proved us all wrong because we forget John Jones was actually training for the Olympics before he quit wrestling due to the, the, his first child. So we didn't realize that. John Jones said his MMA wrestling was better. Let's talk. Stop talking about John Jones. All right. Daniel, come here. So his wrestling will be better than Anthony Rumble Johnson. I believe that. I'm pretty sure of that here. Anthony also started off as a wrestler first through college. He's a very good wrestler, but I just don't think it'll be as good as Daniel's. Um, there's height difference there. They're more closer in size. Daniel will be a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker. I think Anthony might be a little bit taller. I think Daniel will have the strength advantage because of his wrestling advantage. I do believe he might be able to muscle him up against the cage a little bit. How much we'll see in space. If Anthony incorporates his new striking, because like I said, he's a wrestling fir wrestler first, but boy, does he have a knockout game, as we all know. He also has kicks. He's got knockouts by uh, head kicks, and I think he's going to have to use those. Incorporate your full striking arsenal. Don't be scared of Daniel's wrestling, and so you're hesitant to throw your legs. No, 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 no. Throw the legs. Maybe throw them low. Throw them smart. Combinations. Angles. I think he should have uh, um, long combinations, four, five, six shot combinations with kicks and knees incorporated. You're going to have to get real tricky with your striking and you can't hesitate. You have to mix it up, including the legs. Have Daniel guessing. Do not be scared of the takedown. So if he incorporates his legs, his full arsenal in striking, knees, elbows, everything, I give the striking advantage to Anthony. Okay. The wrestling advantage goes to Daniel on the ground. Again, I, I think that goes to Daniel unless unless Anthony can manage to get a, a favorable position. And he generates a lot of power in small, small quarters, short distances, a lot of power. So I want to say try to muscle him up against the fence and work your dirty boxing, Anthony. I'm just not sure if Daniel will be able to muscle him up against the fence and take him down. Ah, I think that might cancel each other out. But if not... D, uh, Anthony, try to work a little dirty boxing because you work that body early. Knees, kicks, everything to the body. If you get him up against the fence, knees, kicks, elbows to the body. Take some of that gas out of DC's tank and then maybe you can get a KO a little bit later. Daniel's really hard to, to KO. He's got a great chin and great boxing himself. So this is going to be tough. And I'm going to go ahead and say this. I actually think DC is going to win. But I don't want him to win. I'm being biased. I'm choosing Anthony Rumble Johnson, even though I actually think DC is going to win. But I'm choosing Johnson. Let me know any injury updates. Let me know all of your picks. Let me know all of your excitement. Let me know what you think of all of these different situations in this entire card. Follow me on Twitter, Jano Owens. Friend me on Facebook, Jano Owens. Ta talk to me. Take care.
Thank you. Bye.